Hello YouTubers. So typical disclaimer, permission contained this video is not intended as it shall not be understood, etc. in the right hand corner. Uh, this week I purchased uh, all positions um, that I already have. Uh, either lowered my cost basis or just thought it was in a good uh, price action. Um, and all in, uh, well not all, but uh, several different sectors. We got REITs, we got M REITs, and consumer staples, and uh, etc. So let's start. I picked up uh, CIM, which is an M REIT for 12.64. I bought another share of Ford at 11.54, GE at 12.98, two shares of LTC, uh, two different days, and three shares of MO or Altria. Um, after well, fifty-two dollars, and then after it uh, jumped down in price due to the nicotine um, scare, if you will. And uh, I like MO. Let me just clarify that because of uh, cigarettes, or at least just because. But I like their uh, position that they have both in bud. Uh, you know, Budweiser, etc., and the position they have in the marijuana industry, um, and of course, Jewel, uh, but you know, trouble there. And Anneli, N L Y, bought three shares, um, which is an M rate, and then a share of VIG and a share of VYM, and uh, the this is uh. Make sure I have um, shares in a little bit of uh, a lot of things, high yield and uh, yield appreciation. And then one share of uh, Wells Fargo, WFCE, uh, which has been going up recently. Uh, so I think it'll continue to go up uh, once they raise the dividend back to previous uh, points in time, although I don't think they'll go back right away to where they they were at before all the scandals that had. But I do like the CEO, and I think he'll clean up and continue to clean up that uh, business. So there you have it. Uh, CIM brought in a dollar twenty. GE is four cents. Yay. Uh, MO three shares brought in ten dollars and thirty two cents. NLY at three dollars sixty four. Two shares of LTC was four dollars and fifty six cents. The one share of VIG two dollars twenty nine cents. One share of VYM two dollars and eighty four cents. And the one share of uh, Wells Fargo WFC is forty cents. Altogether for twelve months, that'll add projection of uh, twenty five dollars and twenty nine cents. And broken down by a month, that's two dollars and ten cents. And daily, that is six cents a day. So there you go. Uh, keep buying those dividend paying companies, um, not including Ford, of course, but they will be back. And uh, watch your dividends rise and continue income stream, building one at least, uh, that'll pay off in dividends uh, in the future. So there you have it. Hope everyone enjoys the video. Hope you are securing your future with dividend paying companies. If you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you.